what's going on guys money making Joey it's been a long day but we're back making another video and in today's video and I promise I am not going to go in on my TLC drivers that hard in this video because the last TLC video that I did we made a video about tower rentals and how you should never use them but it's been a while my TLC drivers out there we really have to have a conversation we have to have a heart-to-heart all my Uber and Lyft guys out there grinding in the five boroughs of New York. I have never, I considered getting my TLC license years ago, back in like 2018. I never actually did it. I decided when I first started in the rideshare industry to go out to Long Island. Now I'm here in North Jersey, but nevertheless, I am, I, I live in North Jersey. I, I am originally from Queens. So don't get me wrong. I've actually been you know, dealing with TLC drivers for some times. I, I, I think the only thing worse than a, a, a regular TLC driver in the rideshare industry is probably a yellow cab driver because in New York City, the yellow cabs are notorious for cutting across three to four lanes of traffic to pick up a passenger on the other side of the street that has their hand out hailing for them. They'll cut off traffic. They'll stop right in front of you. They do not completely care. Now, of course, the, the Uber and Lyft drivers, that's TLC in New York City. We have different issues with, 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 with you guys. And when I speak, I am speaking, this video is a tad bit different because I'm speaking on behalf of a lot of New Yorkers that have to drive on the road with you guys. I am not sure... Because the, the, the crazy thing is, and you guys already know where I'm going because of the title of this video, but the crazy thing is, and, and I get passengers and, and even Uber and Lyft drivers in the outer areas like New Jersey and Long Island, I get passengers that speak about you guys as well. Because the reality is, is that you would think that all, no matter where you're located, Uber and Lyft drivers would actually be the best drivers that you run across just due to the fact that even if this is just something that you do part-time it shouldn't actually be you know something that you suck at there's it's, it should be impossible for you to be a tlc driver on the road 50 60 hours a week and you don't know how to drive when you really think about that, it's like, what in the world are you actually good at? Because you drive 50, 60 hours a week, it's impossible that you don't know how to drive. What are you good at? You might have to change careers. But you find so many TLC drivers. And I had someone tell me that you know, with the commercial insurance, the TLC license, it's really a hassle with, with getting tickets and everything like that. And you want to make sure that you don't get into any accidents. I fully understand that. And I actually got this explanation from a Uber driver in Manhattan that we were coming up 57th Street, just past 6th Avenue. There's a bus lane there. And then two lanes of traffic. There was an Uber driver who decided that when he pulled up to that building on 57th Street where he was supposed to pick his passenger up, he would block one whole lane of the two lane traffic and sit there with his hazards on while he waits for his passenger. I was directly behind him. I'm honking my horn, honking my horn. When I pull up to the side of him, he points at the bus stop and the bus lane. He was afraid to pull into the bus lane with his hazards on to wait for his passenger. So he decided to block one lane of 57th Street during the middle of the day. So now we all have to come around him in one lane while he waits for his passenger. Meanwhile, this whole bus lane here, there wasn't even a bus coming. But I guess, you know, he was afraid to get, get a ticket. And one thing in defense of all of my Uber and Lyft drivers that's navigating through the five boroughs, I completely understand 
when it comes to the tickets. We got to team up together and do something about that because a lot of times also I will notice you have a lot of drivers that they're doing 22 miles per hour down these New York City streets and nothing more just due to the fact of, you know, I can imagine, and don't get me wrong, as a fellow New Yorker, I understand just due to the fact of if they have streets in New York that they have these cameras now, like in school zones, and then you also have these red light cameras that they'll get you and they'll get you really quick. Like I've been driving down the streets in New York when they first put these cameras up around 2019, 2020, and I could just be going 28 down the street and it'll flash me and give me a $50 ticket. So I could only imagine if you're a TLC driver, you rack up three, four of these in one day, or oh, I'm sorry, one week, let's hypothetically say, let's bring it out just a tad bit further. That's 200 bucks out of your pay. So you'll be in these New York City streets and you'll see these guys creeping 22, 23 down the street, which is cool. But I only can ask you of one thing. When you cross over the Hudson via the uh, Holland, the Lincoln, the George Washington, and you come into my territory here in New Jersey, because I see a lot of you guys doing this in the streets of New Jersey, and I see you guys in Newark Airport doing this as well. You decide to come across the Hudson and you do the exact same thing. You start driving on North Jersey streets and through terminals A, B, and C in Newark Airport the exact same way. As a driver here in North Jersey for Uber and Lyft, let me give you guys the PSA. Even if the sign says 30, you can go 35, 40. There's probably only a couple towns here in North Jersey, Union, New Jersey being one of them, where I wouldn't play around with speeding in the town. But for the most part, here in North Jersey, especially coming through Newark Airport, why are you coming through Newark Airport in the loop doing 22? What are you scared of? You only have to worry about the BS in New York City. You only have to do that. Now, I also find, one more thing. I also find that even though a lot of these drivers like to drive slow, they have the king of the road mentality where it's like, I know I'm driving slow and you guys are trying to drive fast, but let me block traffic as much as possible. If we're on the highway, let me get all the way to the left and go the slowest I can possibly go. The slow lane on the highways, my guys, are to the right, not to the left. There's no reason why you should be doing 35, 40 on a highway to the left. Need you to go to the right. Now, I, you know, I don't know. And, and a lot of my videos that I make here on YouTube, they're open for discussion. So I'm sure that there's gonna be a lot of people that get down below in the comments. And I actually want you guys to because on, on all kind of forums and stuff like that, this is actually a main topic of things that people in New York City have to go through. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, do definitely get subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you guys loved it. Money Making Joey, I'm out of here and I will see you guys in the next one.